Hey, how's it going? My name is Alex and welcome to Remixed Reviews. Today I'm actually going to be talking about another iconic character um, from the Batman line. Uh, video game wise, he's been pretty hot. He's come out with uh, Arkham Origins, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and now it's Arkham Knight. So the video games have been doing very well and with every video game they've actually been doing uh, figures. And in this particular video game, Arkham Knight, they actually came out with a figure that I really enjoyed. I really liked. Um, previous figures I've passed on her. Um, I don't know really why, but this particular one I caught my eye. And the, the girl I'm talking about is Harley Quinn, the character. Uh, she's really fine. She's crazy, uh, psychotic, and loyal. And I'll probably be the death of you. So any guy out there could relate. That's pretty much called marriage. Um, but this figure is uh, very, really nice looking. It came out this year, 2015. Um, I can't wait to crack it open and check out the articulation and the, the, the detail. It looks like she's detailed very nicely in the sculpting too. So without further ado, let's take a look at uh, Arkham Knight's 2015 Harley Quinn. So here we have a quick look at the packaging for Harley Quinn. Typical DC collectibles uh, style box as of late. Uh, they do have the Arkham Knights logo, a cool little Batman logo at the top that I really like. It looks nice. Typical open design where you get to see her, all the accessories, um, the jack-in-the-box bomb, the gun, the detonator, hands. Also comes with a bat that I know that she kind of uses often in the video game, which I can't wait to crack open. Over here on the side, you do have some nice little graphics of Harley Quinn's outline. Uh, you can tell here she is number four out of the I want to say five of you count the exclusive. So taking a closer look at the back, you do have Batman, Arkham Knight, Scarecrow, Harley Quinn. The reason I said five is because I know there is an exclusive Red Hood right now that you could get through GameStop and their online uh, website. Um, the price, I wouldn't recommend people paying a, a lot of money for that figure. I know I could see it as high as 60 or 70 bucks. Right now it's still available online, so check it out. Hopefully you guys get lucky. I can't wait to get mine. As for Harley Quinn, she is uh, also sought after. She's not an exclusive, but she's also a great figure, which I can't wait to open. So let's do that now and take a closer look. Right off the bat, I think she looks really, really well. Harley Quinn is standing roughly around 7 inches, including the hair, the very tip top of the hair and her ponytails. So that's pretty cool. Um, she looks pretty decent, man. I'm really happy with the way they did the, the sculpting on her dress. All her belt buckles, um, the awareness of the top of her white, it's more like a gray, dirtyish uh, color. Her skirt looks pretty well done. A lot of detail, a lot of paint went into that. I like the belt buckles, they look good. Uh, her cleavage is well done. It's not huge and overly done, which in reality I actually don't mind, but with the figures, I'm, I'm okay with that. That looks pretty well done. Uh, even in the back, they continue with the detail. And intermixing everything uh, you do see a little bit of her flesh there but that's okay I'll consider that a tear actually she's got some paint at the end of her ponytails over here it's more like a red on the other side of blue matching with her little fringe things on top of her head uh, to keep it there uh, the face sculpt is actually done beautifully she's very hot love the look they gave her some blush some red lipstick the blue eyes even the way the hair covers that left eye and I like the way the paint doesn't actually go over her ear, so you could tell it's painted uh, on both sides. That's pretty well, pretty well thought out, man. Her legs, love the look, the different colored boots. The sculpting on it's awesome. The laces, the way the boots come out a little, really, really well done. The back is pretty much a uh, typical back, but it's nice, man. Uh, you can look under her skirt for all you perverts there. Everything looks uh, in order. So as far as sculpting and detail and color go, I'd have to rate it, honestly, probably like a good 9. Um, it, there's almost no flaws with this figure, a little blemishes here and there. But overall, I really like the overall look they gave her. She's balanced very well. She holds up pretty well on her own. Uh, great overall look on that figure. So overall, Harley comes with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 accessories, which I love. Uh, here's the jack in the box, which I believe is a bomb. Some pretty good detail in there, you know, especially for just a small little prop. I like the head, the color, the face, the crooked eye. It doesn't close in. She doesn't hold it very well, but uh, pretty cool little design. It's part of the game, so I like that. Comes, I think this is the detonator. 
or if you're a big Star Trek fan, it looks like an inoculator to give some medicine that Dr. Bashir or Spock would give. But here it's a detonator, uh, pretty well detailed. Uh, got some color, some blue, some gray. So that's it's good. They actually took the time there. The bat I really love the candy cane stripe. It does have a nice brush to make it look like uh, wood. Um, it is plastic, but it looks really really cool. I like the overall uh, look, and then the candy stripe. You got to give her something to hit to knock people over. That's her trademark. And 45 caliber. I would have preferred if it came with two because I'm a big gun fan. But overall, uh, typical gun, two-tone colored, black handle, nice brushing. Perfect. I'm cool with that. And it gave her two hands. It looks like one to hold either the gun or the inoculator and then like an open hand one. So I always like that. Give me a more option once to figure. I'll take it any day. So as far as articulation goes, her head doesn't actually move that far up or down. Um, very little movement. It does turn pretty well all the way around. I think it does a 360. I'm going to be careful. You don't want to break her head. The arms have some pretty good movement. They go all around. She's got an elbow joint a little less than 90 degrees. She does have a wrist hinge that actually goes pretty, down pretty far. I guess her being feminine, that kind of works well. I like that. Very small ab crunch. It is there though. Um, so that I don't mind as far as her leg goes the skirt does get in the way a little bit But she does stretch out pretty bit and she's got the double jointed knee, which is really cool as she kicks someone no um, Foot articulation other than the ankle pivot. So I'm cool with that. You know, it gives her the stance But overall DC direct has been upping their game when it comes to articulation before couple years back in certain figures we probably wouldn't even had that much articulation so she gives you definitely all the movement you need to pose her in pretty cool things and um when it comes to what this company or what dc comics used to do with the direct line i'm totally happy with the way the articulation is now another thing i like is the way the gun actually fits in her hand her trigger finger fits really well in there. It holds it pretty well. Even the bat. The bat was pretty easily. And these are the hands that she actually comes with. I didn't exchange them just yet. So I like that fact. I like that the accessories look well and fit well in her hand. Sometimes you get that, that not so perfect fit. But with the gun, I mean, that's a pretty good fit. Man. She's actually got her finger in the trigger. I like that. They took a the little extra time. The finger even passes the gun. If you see that like in real life. So, well, I, I think in real life. Freeze, motherfucker! Here's a quick look at Harley Quinn next to DC Universe Classic Harley Quinn. To be honest with you, it's not even fair to compare these two figures. In my opinion, they're so different. Even though it's technically the same character, I love these pieces equally. Uh, I love the face and the sculpt and almost that menacing look, which is kind of what I was talking about when I wish they gave this Harley Quinn another sculpt to look at. But I just wanted to make a quick little reference at the difference and how times have changed. But in my opinion, both of these are equally great pieces. Overall, I have to say this figure is awesome. I kind of wish she had another head sculpt though. This one is very beautiful, like I said, but it's very serious too. I would have liked something maybe showed a little bit more of a quirky side, like an extra head that was laughing or looked a little more psychotic. Here, she has that very noble look, superhero type thing, very serious face. But, I'm not complaining. This figure is uh, up there when it comes to the Harley Quinns. I really like it. So, I hope you like this review. Please leave your likes and comments at the bottom. And again, for everything Comics Remix related, visit us at www.comicsremix.com. And we will see you next time. Peace. I cannot stay here too long before my machine friends will become nervous and do something rash.